Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp. So we are today at the 23rd April Lead Code Challenge and the problem we are going to cover today is count binary substring. So here is the input given. The input given here is a string which is binary string which means it consists of only zeros and ones and we have to return the number of substrings that have same number of zeros and ones and all the zeros and ones in the substring are grouped consecutively. So let's understand this problem with an example. So here is our given input string. The constraint said that if we are selecting a substring, then that substring should have equal number of zeros and ones, and the zeros and ones should be grouped consecutively. So here is our given input string. When you start with 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, the possible substrings that you can form here is first 0 and 1, because they have equal number of zeros and ones, and zeros and ones are grouped together. And the next string we form is 0011, where two zeros and two ones are formed consecutively. And finally, it is going to take another substring 10 at the end, which is also having one zero and one one and grouped consecutively. So now if you see, these are the three total number of substrings we can form, which satisfies the criteria. So that is going to be our output. We don't have any other strings which has equal number of zeros and ones and arranged consecutively. So how are we going to approach this? So we are going to have initially two pointers. One is previous and one is current. So our previous is going to be fixed at any digit, either it can be zero or one. And our current is going to move or increment by one every time it is encountering the same digits which means it is going to keep track of the length of consecutive zeros or consecutive ones. So once we place or find a different digit, in that case, we are going to swap the values. That is, we are again going to initialize our current to one and previous to the current length. So let's start iterating. You're going to understand by end of first iteration. So our previous pointer is going to start at the initial position zero. So now our current value is zero. So our current pointer is going to move till it finds a different digit. So now our current is initialized to 1, our previous is at 0. So we are going to iterate our current till we encounter 1. So moving on to the next digit, our current is going to be 2 because it encountered one more 0. So next it is moving on to the next one here now as our current is, it encountered a different digit. So in this case, we have found a different digit which means it can be possibly a substring that satisfies our criteria. So now we are going to assign P is equal to 2 and current again initialize back to 1 because our current is going to keep track of the next set of consecutive digits that is here next consecutive ones. So now we are going to check whether our previous is greater than or equal to 1. In that case, we are going to increment our result to 1. So how are we incrementing our result to 1? Here, p is equal to 2 actually means this is the maximum number of opposite digit I can offer you to make a valid substring. So in this case, p is equal to the number of zeros and 1 is equal to number of ones so far. So here number of ones is 1 and number of zeros is 2. So in this case, Previous is greater than 2, which means you can form a substring with equal number of zeros and ones, which is actually means 0, 1, this substring. So we incremented or found one substring that satisfied our criteria and we incremented it to 1. So you can understand, stay with me. So right now we are at the third position in our given input string, that is we are iterating the third character in our given input string and our p is equal to 2, which means we have some digit, either it can be 0 or 1 based on the string you provide, is 2, which means we have two consecutive digits and c is equal to 1 means we have exactly one digit opposite to what we have in p. So here we have two p's, that is two zeros and one ones. So now our pointer current is going to move to the next position. So now we are iterating the fourth character in the given input string and our count is going to increment by one because we have encountered the same character as the previous character. So current is the actual pointer which is going to keep count of consecutive same character or same digits. 
So here now our current is equal to 2. Again, we are comparing whether P is greater than or equal to 2, which actually means I have two digits consecutively. And again, I have two digits different consecutively. I mean, opposite digits consecutively, which means we again can form one more string, which is actually 0011. So we are going to increment our result is equal to 2. So now our iteration is at the fifth character of the input string, which is again one. So we have encountered the same digit as the previous digit, which means we have to increment our current. So now our current becomes three and our P is equal to two, which actually means we have two consecutive zeros and three consecutive ones. So which actually says we have only two zeros to match three ones. In that case, we cannot form a substring that match our criteria. So in this case, we cannot increment our result and move to our next iteration. So here now our C is equal to 3. We are going to iterate our last character in the given input string, which is 0, which is actually different from the previous character, which means our iteration to current is going to end and initialize back to 1 because current is the pointer which is going to keep track of the consecutive equal digits. So in this case, we have encountered a different digit, which means the consecutive ones stopped and it's going to start counting the number of consecutive zeros. So we are going to initialize it back to 1 and our P is going to become 3, which means so far we have counted 3 consecutive ones and now for the new substring, we have 3 consecutive ones and we are going to keep track of number of consecutive zeros to match with this three consecutive ones. So now we have encountered one zero, which means our P is three and C is one. So now we are comparing whether our P is greater than C, which actually means we have three ones and one zero. Can you make a substring which satisfies the criteria? Yes, we can make substring that is one and zero. So we can pick one one from this three P's and one zero and we can make a substring. So in this case, I'm going to increment my result to one. So we have iterated completely the given input string and finally ended up with this result is equal to three. So hope you're understanding this approach and I made it simple. So this is going to run big go of n as we are going to iterate the given input string only once and constant space. So let's go to code now. So yes, as I said, I'm going to have two pointers. Current is initialized to one and previous is initialized to 0 and result is again going to be 0. So I'm going to iterate through my given string so every time I'm going to compare the character with previous character Then if we found the same consecutive characters, then in that case, our current increments until it encounters a different character. So if not, if it is not a consecutive same character, then in that case, we are going to assign our previous is equal to current and our current initial is back to 1. So every time once we assign the values of previous and current, we are going to compare if previous is greater than or equal to current. In that case, our result is going to increment. And once we completed the iteration, our result is going to hold the number of substrings that satisfies the given problem statement. So finally, return result. So yes, let's run and try. Yes, so let's submit. Yes, the solution is accepted and it runs in 8 milliseconds. So thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, hit like, subscribe and let me know in comments. Thank you.